Who knows? Without further ado, let's jump in, shall we? We have Pufferfish. Okay, so I think... Jump on the first one. I think jump on the first one. Well, the first one and then what knock and lighten us. So I need to hit that other one on the other side, right? something. It all hinges though on not knocking that one down a second time. I have to like come back on the dash there. Alright, I just need to delay my, like, dash to the right there a little bit. And then everything will be cushy there. I think I just got to do a pixel perfect dash there across the top, perhaps. That would kind of make sense. Yeah, okay. And then I dash across diagonally. It's coming together. I just gotta remember this dash. So we do the majority of these Celeste screens. We advance by learning. Advanced by trialing things. <clears throat> ah, yeah, I, I was compensating to the left for some reason, I don't know why. And then I kind of didn't clear it enough, so... completely forgot what I was actually meant to be doing. And again, like an absolute ID10T. I 
I think I dashed too early to be honest there, so. Oh man, so I gotta get a pretty tight angle there to get back and hit that fish. That focus. The muscle memory is not quite kicked in yet. I'm still doing silly things like that. It's bizarre because I'm really not quite... I'm not anticipating that dash over the top of the... not reading it well at all. I'm also, a lot of the time, I'm facing the wrong way. It's quite frustrating because it's like, I know what I need to do. And so often is the case. Man. How am I supposed to do that? Is there a way I can keep the dash, maybe? Okay. So I've got to keep the dash. We're learning. We're still learning. So what that will enable me to do, if I can keep the dash, I'll be able to dash into the crystals and the puffer fish, and I'll have two dashes to get up to the bird. I believe. In miracles. Where are you from? You sexy fish.
But I need to... I need to get quite a bit of height though off this to guarantee that I can keep the dash. close to the fish. That's it. <sighs> Dash too early. And in the wrong direction. Oh. Really? Well then. I must have been marginally too slow taking my finger off the diagonal there. I was looking back at that and it was touch and go looking back at it as to whether or not I actually hit that. It felt like. my head down on that one. Mr. Dash Crystals. meant to do this. I need to work on the consistency here. That's what's letting me down. to kick off the box. Maybe. I'm all in sorts there. to get the box the second time.
too low. What if I try and go for the bird? What if I try and use battling to get me up to the bird? What does that do for me? Is there anything different? birds just sitting there so can I use battling then to either hit the dash crystals or the puffer fish So that's what we need to do. Got it. Well, not got it, but we will have it in a minute. There we go. Next screen. Okay. So I need to boost off that ledge, grab the jellyfish, which will then send me up in the air. Okay, and then I need to boost again and do exactly the same thing again. I just need to time the grab, the, the throw of the jellyfish so that it doesn't get fizzled, obviously. And edge boost off there. Easy. Oh my god. Are you expecting me to? Oh my god, yes you are. Alright. Wave dash chaining. <laughs> get on top of it. Get on top of it and duck down. Easy screen. This is it. We're almost out of here. Let's do this for Granny. Is this the final screen? Oh my goodness. Oh 
my goodness. What the actual heck? Oh my goodness. Okay, I was kind of the right idea. Okay, so then I gotta hit that fish to grab the jellyfish back. Send me the wrong way. All right, so we got to there. We're pretty much getting to there. So when we get to that other bit, that's like vertical. I don't know where to go after that. Yeah, I tried to recover there, but... I got to dash a little bit earlier. All right, good recovery. Oh man, maybe I don't need to use the dash though, because maybe.
I got the first bit down at least. The only thing I can think to do there though is to like hold down. So I think dashing into it like that, to the side, is the best thing to do then. Oh, this dead. <laughs> oh boy. Recovery knock. Didn't get across there quick enough though. Need to stay focused. That's not staying focused. Do I get another one? Does it come back? Rip. dash early or to hang it out and dash late it's hard one to judge What if I fire further from further left? Worth we'll a try, Eddie. Welcome along, buddy. Hope you're well. Ah. Uh. I 
The screen looks absolutely hideous, but I, I'm led to believe that this is the final screen. So, what else would we expect? Ah, uh, didn't want to do that. I've picked it up there without even I picked it up there without even dashing what's annoying is that I do it you do it first time hardcore and then you can't do it again after that I alluded to this the other night that's like it's there's nothing more frustrating although, it, although it's cool when you do it first time there's just no consistency you don't know, you don't really know the strat, so oh, I missed it again. Do I need to get it again? I might not need to get it. Let me just try something completely crazy here. What if I could get enough of a dash? Okay, I'm fine now. What if I got enough of a dash from battling to get through and hit the spring? I'll just do that, you know. Oh my goodness. I think you're right though, Eddie. I think taking your advice, going from further from the left, seems to be a far more consistent strap. I don't even think it's like going from the left, I just think it's like throwing it, going a lot earlier than I was. Are you alright, Madeline? We're so close, but it feels impossible. Come on, just a few more tries. We can do this! Oh, wow. Even the game's like saying now, come on. Reminds me a bit of the uh, 
Isn't it the Talos principle when you uh, you're trying to do a puzzle on Talos and um, you've been like trying for a few times and you keep dying or something and it keeps telling you uh, you know you can always come back to it kind of thing, try to give you a bit of encouragement. Oh my god, how am I... What? I was just about to say, do I need to wave dash on a spring? That is crazy. Oh my dear god. to find a more consistent way of doing this. Take it, Eddie, you don't know the, like, proper way to do it if you did it on assist mode. It's not about wave dashing on the spring. Well, the problem is though, I don't know how else because you can't take the the jellyfish can't come with me. Or can it? Hold on, there's a spring at the top, isn't there? Okay. Do I throw the jellyfish into the spring at the top? Yes. So then as I jump off this spring, I do a diagonal grabbing the fish. Okay. Yeah. I say wave dashing onto a spring, it just sounds crazy. dashed into that then. I need to find consistency though with this. Okay. 
Oh, but if you miss the spring, then you may as well just give up. But that was, okay, that was pretty good, actually. I think going at the peak of the jump seems to be almost the right thing to do. Don't know how I managed that. Then I felt like I went at the peak then and got like completely different result to last time, so the frustration of trying to be consistent. There we go. Far too early. I think I've got to get hit the spring with the jellyfish, get my dash back, dash up. It's all about hitting spring though, isn't it? Throw the freaking jellyfish to the right place there. <sighs> See, that's the problem is that I'm constantly overshooting that spring. So it goes from consistency on one area to consistency on another. Oh dear. I just can't slow myself down enough.
Oh boy. Quite a good save. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe throwing a bit more to the left, uh, the right hand side of it there was, gives me more room. Let's try it this time round. We'll try and go a bit further to the edge here before we throw it. No. I didn't even dash into that. I just grabbed it. There we go. Ah, so close. All right. That was progress. Progress is good, yeah. No, bird, I don't want to get on. It's hard because you're trying you're trying to compensate but you're trying to do it like not overcompensate. Now I can't even get this consistent strat down. Alright, I'll take a two minute break just to go to the lab. I will be right back. And we're back. Alright, come on. Let's do this.
Didn't get high enough. Again, like I said, in like last night, I like to justify my reasons on my failure. I'd much rather know why I failed than just be scratching my head going, uh, why didn't that work? So I feel like I have to justify and reason why I don't do things. So that was because I didn't dash. It's so much freaking. So tough. You have so much speed there. The right hand side strat, though, is working a lot better, I feel, than uh, when we was going from the left, so. for lab break. To be honest, I thought I was already dead. I thought I'd gone too close to the electric wall at the top, so I was very surprised. And it caught me off guard a bit when I didn't die. So. So frustrating. What can I do about the speed off that? Sp Oh, and then I miss it. Are you kidding me?
don't know what I was trying to achieve there, if I'm honest. Alright, so we got the jellyfish through to there. But then what do we do? I think I've worked out the way to slow that down now. And it's simply just to let my jellyfish glide rather than holding right. It seems to be... So I don't know what to do here. The only thing I can think to do is go straight up, because that will give me the most height. But the jellyfish won't go straight up. for Electro. Eva, A. Uh, which bit am I throwing? Do you think I'm throwing it too early? The bit where after I get the spring? Oh, nice. I haven't played a text-based adventure game in years. I always get excited when you type the word hint in my chat, I have to be honest.
I mean, battling. I could do with some words of battling encouragement here, but obviously she's uh, all out of encouragement for me. Phone booth. What is this, Doctor Who? Trying to delay the dash. So Eddie said I he thought I'd maybe throw in the jelly too early. I think I'm grabbing the jelly too early. Is my issue. got the consistency down on this. That's frustrating. dash straight up. Ah, I let go of the frickin' There we go. Ah, uh, all right. Confidence is renewed. So yeah, it was, like I said, got a delay grabbing that jellyfish.
renewed confidence and then I can't even get past the freaking first section now. Thank you very much for the host. Welcome back off your holly bobs. Hope you had a good time, my man. Jubains! Thank you very much for the following. Appreciate it. Welcome along. How was it to uh, get back to some racing and commentary and commentating tonight, Rags? Tiring? <laughs> so bad at driving, yeah. I know them feels. I was so disappointed after our um, after the um, F2 race the other week in Canada. Um, I've just I've not I've, I've not been back behind the wheel myself actually. So um, yeah, holidays are, are weirdly tiring though. You, you do absolutely nothing for that whole period of time. You come back and then you kind of like want another holiday. If you're anything like me, though, it's like you're running around after the freaking, you're running around after the kids all week, and um, yeah, you need a freaking holiday away from the kids to get over the holiday. But yeah, does it as well? It's like the first time you've been abroad. Did I see that right in your Discord or your Twitter? How was the whole flying experience for you? Yeah, you need you seriously you do, Jabanes. You need a freaking holiday for a holiday. Especially when you have kids. So, for anybody here, um, just to sort of give you an idea. Of what we have to do on this this is I think this is the final screen of this um, of this and to give you an idea of what we actually have to do let just just keep an eye on how far we have to go here this is how crazy this is all one try hardcore kind of well not one try hardcore but you have to do it all in one consistent go and just when you think you got to the end there's more That last section looks absolutely freaking crazy until we get to this box. That's what we've got to get to. We've got to get to the box. This game is hard. <laughs> um, I previously played the game um, and completed it to uh, 100% with all the berries, all the A-side, B-sides, and C-sides. Um, and then recently they... Uh, developers released the chapter 9 DLC <laughs> um, and I've been going at this now since that came out which was uh, 10th September possibly but yeah this DLC, this DLC is like it's pretty hard uh, there's a lot of new mechanics in this and um, so learning those new mechanics took a lot of while, a long time um, but I, I love this game. This is like one of my favourite games of last year. It takes a lot of patience, that's for sure. Oh, I could have got away with that. But yeah, it's not for the faint-hearted. Definitely not. But the game does a really good job of the game does a really good job of kind of like teaching you like the the game mechanics bit by bit. So it's never too overwhelming. And what's quite nice about the game is that you can actually save it after every single screen. So you can, um, if you want to break from it, you can literally just save it and come back right back to where you was. Not like from like some weird uh, like checkpoints where you've got to like redo half the stuff to get 
back to where he was, which is quite nice. So, it's a very, very good game. The soundtrack is amazing. If you've got Nerves of Steel, then uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, yes, you cannot use this game with an analog stick. There is one There is one mechanic in the game where you have to use the analog stick, which is for a feather section. You, you control a feather. And because you need like precise inputs and stuff, you have to use the analog stick. Uh, this is as far as I've got right here. Because I can't get that freaking jellyfish to... Um, can I do a wave dash off here? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, I can't get the freaking jellyfish to um, go through the electric. The, the kind of like the weird distorted fields, like the one below, the jellyfish can't go through or get kind of like evaporated, but it can go through the electric fields. So you've got to kind of... What I've got to do is I've got to get through and I've got to basically position the jellyfish so it goes... Um, uh, it goes through the electric while I do various other bits and pieces. And uh, Bommels, I know exactly the feeling. I have done that countless, countless times in the over the 100 and God knows how many hours I've been playing this game for. It is one of the most frustrating things you'll ever do in this game because you are dead certain you are pressing a left or a right. But no, you've got a freaking up on there and you're going at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> It's so frustrating. Do you know what? I reckon I could actually skip out that. Um... Oh man, do want to do that? Ah! How far are you in uh, to the game? Be high enough. I need to get more height on the um, let's get more height on that throw. Oh, I missed the fucking spring. Oh, you're at uh, Resort, yeah. Resort is good. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much for you, but um, prepare yourself for the next one. That's all I'm going to say. There is one mechanic that is uh, in the next level, the next set of levels you'll get to. There is one mechanic which will absolutely wreck your fingers. But yeah, it's a, it's a, for, for the arts. I love the art style. I think the the OST is fantastic in the game as well. Um, Lana did an amazing job with it, so I could sit here and listen to the music. Some of the some of the music in this DLC though was questionable. All right, we got there. We did it. Ooh. All right, come on, make the bird. How? What am I doing? I don't. Yeah, okay. That was stupid of me. That was a total. I don't know why I'm trying to use the jellyfish there to dash through my thing. Um, all I need to do is go off the spring. Go to the right, and then when the jellyfish gets disintegrated, I just dash into the bird. I'm massively overcomplicating that bit. Come on. This this bit's frustrating me because you get so much speed when you grab the jellyfish that I'm always overshooting the spring. And if you overshoot the spring, that's it. You're done. 
Hi, Jabanes, no worries. Thank you very much for the follow, and thank you very much for uh, stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a good evening. Ah. <laughs> Alright, here's, here's a question for you. What's more frustrating? Playing this or entering a, a, a lobby full of randos on Formula One? Just waiting for that turn one punt. <laughs> Alright, that's it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Ooh! All right, spring over here, bird. Wee, jellyfish. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Not wind. I freaking. All right, that's it. You take a lobby any day. <laughs> Fucking hell! I would not take the lobby. I would much rather take this because there is nothing more frustrating than sitting there. In. Uh, what the majority of the time is is a buggy lobby only to sit there for five minutes waiting for your race to start and they get punted off at turn one. Where's the fun in that? Oh, shit. That was PB though. That was my PB on this screen so far. Um, the wind caught me out though. I wasn't expecting the wind. Wind is the worst in this game. early yeah I, I really need to I need to race more I need to get back into Formula 1 my goal this year was to get a better wheel which I did and then try and get more uh, consistent and get faster. Um, I don't know. I just I've not had. I don't feel like I've had the same pace since I've had my new wheel. But I guess I just need to spend more time practicing. But I'm a man with very little free time, unfortunately. So I got to try and fit everything in. In like the 10 hours of free time I have a week. Which isn't always practical. Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. But then obviously like I said, I just... The, the Canada F2 race last week was really a real low point for me. So I spent so much time in the afternoon. I actually had free time. I spent so much time practicing. And then like nothing came of it. And I just drove absolutely rubbish. But it's all part and parcel learning curve. What I've found though, since I've got my new um, since I got my new wheel, is just I'm the I don't feel like I'm putting enough force through the brake because uh, it's a lot harder to press the brake pedal. So with a lot of the time, I think I'm like really stamping hard on the brake and I'm only applying it at like halfway, and then that leads to a stupid freaking going into the back of somebody incident. So, yeah, I think it was lap two in Canada. I did that, that exact thing, and I wasn't pressing my brake hard enough into the into the hairpin. Ended up like going into the back of somebody, and that pretty much wrecked my race because I had to pit for the wing and stuff. And then race two, um, I don't know. I I got I I kind of went deep into one, and I kind of got pinched with Kai. Um, luckily, he was able to come back from it. But then I just freaking hit. Took it into the wall of freaking champions and yeah, I don't know. Though Canada was on previous games, Canada was always a 
a good solid track for me. So it's disappointing that I'm not able to. I mean, I should, probably shouldn't compare though, because obviously driving the Formula Two cars is a completely different um, thing to when you're racing the F1 cars. So um, with the lack of understeer and, and different bits and pieces, it's definitely a lot more of a challenge. So, I mean, I guess I probably shouldn't be too disheartened. All right, we made it again, guys. Woohoo! No, I didn't. <laughs> That's quick enough. I just, I don't know. I think I need to also try and understand, like, the car setups a little bit more as well. Back in 2010, I was really quite hot on. I was really quite hot on car setups and, um, you know, really tweaking the car a lot. Um, whereas, obviously, the game has evolved quite a lot and I don't really understand my car as much. So, I feel like high-speed corners especially, I don't have enough speed. Prime example is the old Silverstone... Shit. The old Silverstone Turn 1. Um, can't think of what it's called but I always struggle through there I've for some strange reason Canada is harder than this track you think You think they're coming more fun because they're harder to drive, Beaker? Is that what you're sort of implying? I'm starting to get better at like my my racecraft definitely, um, but I kind of feel myself. I, um, oh Raggy, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the host. Thanks for stopping by, my man. And uh, yeah, I'll be racing soon. I'll probably try and take part in the race this weekend as well. So uh, wife's at work on Saturday, so I'll have free time. But uh, yeah, appreciate uh, stopping by. And for the host, my man. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Catch up with you later. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Damn you, Raggy. <laughs> Beat this level already. Um, but yeah, for uh, I guess the similarities in this game in Formula 1, though, in like that once you once you practice enough and you, you hook it up, it just feels so nice to... And like in Formula 1, once you... Once you You've put in all that practice and you hook in that sweet lap. It just feels so good. Feels so good. My god. Oh, what was I even thinking? I'm losing focus. I'm not even freaking halfway through the screen yet, which is the which is the daunting thing. There's so much more to go. Which is frustrating because obviously you can't you can't practice what's ahead. You can only practice what's here right now because you've got to keep doing the same bits over and over again. Then you start making stupid mistakes.
Where's the uh, Ragnation? Uh, is it Austria this week? I'm kind of a bit. Uh, I didn't watch the race this week, unfortunately. Is it France this week? Austria. All right. Big power track. I noticed you seem to have um, a lot of um, good time, good times on the old F2 there, Bombers. When I um, check out leaderboards and stuff when I'm practicing for the F2 races, I always happen to uh, see your name appearing at the top of the uh, the time trial boards. What am I doing? Oh man. I've noticed with a lot of um a lot of the F two times, um people don't even people aren't even using setups for them. So I kind of Underlines to me how slow I am at the F, uh, like pace on F2, because I'm always a good two and a half plus seconds behind, like the the top times. And I do try and like tweak a setup, but no, I don't probably understand the F2 cars fully enough yet. Oh, for God's sake, I need a. I need to be looking for a visual cue for when I'm falling. I'm ju I'm, gra I'm dashing and jump, getting that too early. Which is a pain. I don't even know what I'm doing there. Kind of hard to grab a visual cue though. There's not really a lot to look at, if I'm honest. Yeah, I agree. Once you've done a good few laps, though, I mean, it's you soon settle down. I mean, I've I don't know if it's a good or a bad habit, but. I have a tendency to um, lower my um, lower my steering range in F2 just to sort of try and give me a bit more turning. I don't know if that's really a good thing. So normally I like limit my rotation to about 270 degrees rather than 360. Oh my god, how did I freaking get back there? I have no idea, but I haven't got a freaking dash, so I can't really do anything about it. You found me a visual cue? Alright, so where am I actually I'm dashing? Are you talking about that like little lip, Wommels? Maybe. Or did I dash? So I dashed just before I got that like little lip. 
So if I can maybe try and like use the lip, maybe um, maybe might be on something. I'm I'm all open for ideas. Where on earth is that going? Probably the same place that's going. To the void. straight away. Oh my god. I think time's um Ooh. I was about to say I think time's cracking on and maybe uh we're getting a bit too tired, like finger-wise, for trying to pull this off. Had to try and push it off the screen to um, try and get it back, but I messed up the dash to with the jellyfish to get it back, so... It was a bit um, of a waste of time, unfortunately. Where Madeline was going there. It certainly wasn't to grab the jellyfish. Brutal. There's no other way to describe it. <sighs> Obviously, there is a cheeky way we could do this. Too low. All right, I missed the ledge. All right, Beacon, no worries. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate it. I'll uh, hopefully catch you in. Uh, some racing way, shape, or form real soon. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. I thought I'd got this throw down to a T as well, but looks like we're, we're struggling with it again, which is annoying. Get enough height so that when you grab it here, you that was that was 
That was marginal. And I was lower I was lower there than the lip. I'll just check that back on the uh, on my OBS view. So Not my OBS view. On my dashboard view, sorry. Well, the annoying thing is, I don't think I'm going to get this done tonight. I've got to dash up because if I dash diagonal upright. I don't have enough height to clear it. So it has to be a straight dash up. So to get the straight dash up, I have to time the dash and grab perfectly. Which is what we're not achieving right now. That was too low. That was too close to electric. We're gonna rock down to... Snake okay, into a of electric. I miss the singing streams. I haven't done a singing stream in ages. Where we just sing random songs based on things that we say. Back in the early knock days, that's all we ever used to do on the stream. Things used to happen, we just sing the first song that came into our head. Good times. Wasn't great. Hold on. Hold on a moment. I may have just had a revelation. May have just had a revelation. I think the I think I can get the jellyfish to go in front of me. Course, I've got to get there first. If I get the jellyfish to go in front of me, then it won't be as time critical on that dash. All right. So, I could do that, and I can let go of grab, so I don't grab the jellyfish, to fall below it? Maybe. I 
Of course, we've got to hit the springs, and we've actually got to get there. That might give me a better... That might? I uh, might. That's like a, a yeet, but might... That's, that's like a yeet when you say might. Um, that might give me a bit more breathing room, then, to get to where I need to get to. Oh, of course, I've got to throw the freaking thing the right way, though. So it doesn't help if I don't. Overcommon saying there for I knew I was already in a bad place and I was trying to overcompensate, which is never good. So, does it help me? Because I'm lower than it, and maybe I've just, maybe it does help, but I delayed it too much. Oh, for God's sake. Are you kidding me? There we go. All right. <laughs> freaking <laughs> jump out of the freaking thing again. Oh my god, I spent all that time to get there. And then we go and ass it up like a douche. But the delay definitely worked. I know, right? Salvage the best of a bad situation. Yeah, well that's that's the thing, isn't it? It's all about learning, seeing how you can do something the best, and then committing that to muscle memory. Which is what this game's all about. It's all about learning. Definitely. Yeah. God, there is... So many screens on this DLC where it's just like, okay, what do I do next? How do I do this? But you can't work out the puzzle until you've worked out the consistency. Until you get good. Get good, son. Get good. Oh, I didn't delay. Oh, I forgot to delay. Oh my goodness. Can I just hide behind my mic? Spring. It's fair, I missed the bird as well, so it's probably not that too bad a thing. The 
Pufferfish are a pain in the ass, though. Seriously. If you get their tra trajectory hitting them wrong, just like slightly, it's like toast. Missed the frickin'. It's not. It's not like toast. You are toast. I should have said. Wow. Are you kidding? I still got that much height from hitting that all the way down there. It wasn't not as low as I thought it was, but I was really surprised at the amount of height I got there. That's better. Come on. Don't fuck it up this time! But I gotta go from low. I struggled the last two times I got there because I was too low. But I have to go low because I have to get the jellyfish to go higher when I grab it. I don't know, man. <sighs> I'm not throwing this high enough now. This is where consistency screws you over, and if you're not consistent, you'll get to a new area, but then you'll start to falter on the earlier areas, and you're like, oh, God's sake. All right. There we go. But then I go to the freaking jellyfish. All right, even if I can just practice that a couple of times and get to that and try and get that down... That's good progress, right? That's the main thing. Alright, Bowles. Thanks a lot, buddy. Good luck yourself with the game. And, uh... No doubt next time I catch you, we'll probably be on a stream. A raggies. Or on the track. But, uh, yeah. Take it easy, man. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Didn't hold grab. I personally letting go of grab so I don't grab the jellyfish too early, but then at the same time. I'm not re holding it when I need to hold it. So. So. It's a fine line, it's a balancing act for sure. That's it. 
Oh, hold on. i got to throw it. And then I've got to just dash without the jellyfish. All right, well, that makes a bit more sense. Assistance is coming. Ah, okay. Consistency is coming. says. Oh my god. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Oh! <laughs> Man! I can't look at any of that in the telescope because the telescope doesn't go up. So I've got to do that entire section totally blind. I didn't delay the freaking. I didn't delay. What? Problem is though, like you get you get to a point where it just becomes everything becomes a bit of a blur. I don't even know what I'm doing at this stage anymore. Oh, I was holding grab. Then they go grab. Need to hit the dash crystal before I try and go anywhere.
let go of grab. All right, we're here again. How on earth am I meant to do that? speed. So the only thing I'm thinking about the up, the like, the up section. Yeah, I'm making progress already. I've got to like where I think it's like a probably a third of the way through now. This is a massive, massive screen. I've struggled with consistency for um, quite a bit. But I'm starting to nail the consistency down now in the first third of the screen, at least. Uh, I'm pretty confident I'm making progress. <laughs> All of this, though, to escape a freaking dream. Seriously? Oh, fuck. Don't doubt my progress, Eddie. Doubt my own progress now. Just can't even do this freaking thing that I had absolutely nailed for consistency. All right, so here we are. We're here again.
god. I thought I'd managed to like pull off the ultimate freaking recovery strat there. I was just interested to see whether I could, uh, with the wave dash, whether or not I could make it across there. Turns out I can't. It's gone wrong. It's better. That's not bad. I just... It's now a good time to call it quits for the night because I feel like now we're just making lots of silly mistakes. I'm losing my consistency and muscle memory. I think the hardest thing we was doing not so long ago is wave dashing. I guess I'm going to have two dashes there. Hit the spring. <laughs> Assist mode is never going to happen. I promise you that. My issue is, like, I want to see the top area. It's evil that they conceal that. I don't think, like, the last area is all. I don't think the last area is all that difficult, if I'm honest. It just looks more about timing jumps once you get to that last area and it's not very long either 
which is reassuring. Please. Don't want to grab you there. Give me a chance to dash first. That was lucky. Oh! What? I could pull it down? Since when? The game's not showing me that! Mr. Dash Crystal.
No! <laughs> oh. Cry, laugh. What's, what's, what's the difference at this point? Not a lot. Save it somehow. All right. New PB. Man. Oh wow, really? Well, we did the gifting thing. Because I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, and they expired tomorrow. Seems like I gifted to myself and my bot, and I'm not sure where my third one went. Right. 
That same corner every time is catching me out. Why did I let go? That was awfully close to that electric field right there. Fractionally too late. I knew I was late on that. Then we go into old habits again. Why did I let go of it? I don't know. It's raining. I can see I've got a plastic conservatory roof, so I thought I could hear it beating down. If you can hear that, I do apologise. Conservatory's right next to my office.
too low. Damn it! Almost got away with that. Almost. Oh, I wasn't far enough out to the right. Alrighty, no worries my man, thanks very much for the ever supportive hints, thanks as well for that uh, community gift as well, I don't know where it ended up but yeah I appreciate that uh, yesterday, and uh, catch you next time, well, hopefully we'll be playing something else because uh, Celeste is finished, but we'll see. Take it easy, buddy. Have a good night. Oh, I should have... Whilst good progress has been made, I'm starting to think I'm burning out. I wasn't sure how I kind of like um, how I was doing that, but I guess because the block is moving up and down, as I hit it when it gets lower, it kind of um, as I hit it when it gets lower, 
I then get higher, like, towards the block, and that's why I'm able to pick it up again and salvage it. Diagonal is killing me. No! Come on, I just want another go at this freaking wind section, man. I suppose I got lucky before. It's going to be pretty hard to get the same timing on them blocks every time unless I can do this bit really fast every time.
Oh, I went too quick. Focus. <sighs> that wasn't focus. You know, I said like 20 minutes ago I was going to like call it a night. No! You evil, evil game! Green PB though.
That's a lot less tight on timing. Oh man, that's so much easier. So much easier, and I'll be so much consistent from doing that. Alright guys, well... I'm done. I'm pooped. Oh, I, I still don't know how much longer that screen's going to go on for, but jeez. That is crazy. We are making good progress, though. We are making inroads. We are... Surely, we must be, like, halfway through the screen. Then Pufferfish, though, man, with that jellyfish section is just absolutely brutal. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much to Raggy for the host, for Jabanes for the follow, and for the community gifts, which we distributed momentarily ago. Um, the stream will be back on Saturday at some point. There'll probably be multiple streams on Saturday. We'll probably have a bit of Final Fantasy. We'll probably have some F2 racing in the Rag Nation F2 race. And um, then we'll be back. If we're not back in the week, I might do some streaming in my lunch hour this week. So um, if I stream in lunch hour, we'll be trying to tackle Celeste. If I haven't done that, then Saturday night will probably be Celeste. And um, who knows, maybe even a bit of DJing as well. Thank you very much, YouTube, for, stick uh, for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. But... Until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.